In this tutorial, I will show you how to bake textures from one UV map to a different UV map in Blender. And if you'd like to learn the basics of texture baking in Blender, then definitely check out my texture baking for beginners tutorial and also my texture baking playlist where I have more texture baking tutorials. So first, why might you want to bake textures from one UV map to a different UV map? Well, I have this cube here and I've added this wood material on it. And this is the wood 026 from ambientcg.com. It's a free texture but then I wanted to make this material look different I wanted to make it look like kind of a shiny polished wood and I also wanted to give it kind of like that red painted finish so to do that I added a noise texture with a color ramp and I added that into the color with a mix RGB node and then I also added these RGB curves and some other color nodes to make the color look different but let's say I wanted to use this model in a game engine or another 3d software or upload it to sketchfab if I wanted to do that then I couldn't use these procedural nodes because procedural nodes like the mix RGB, the color ramp, and the noise texture, those nodes only work in Blender. So in this case, I need to bake the material out to new texture maps so that it looks like how I want. The problem though is that I'm already using the UVs of the object to put these wood textures on the object. So just to show you, I'm going to move my mouse right up here in the corner and I'm going to click and drag and that is going to split the window. And then I'm going to click right up here to change the editor type and I'm going to change this to the UV editor. And then I will press the tab key to go into edit mode. So you can see here is the UV of the object. So I've kind of moved some of these islands around to move the wood around so that it shows the part of the wood that I want on the object. But if I tried to bake this, then there would be some problems because there's overlapping UVs and also some of these islands go out of the boundary of the wood texture. So what I need to do is create a different UV map and then I need to use this UV map for the wood but I need to bake the new textures to the new UV map. So to do this, make sure you have the object selected and you're going to click right over here on the object data properties and then you're going to open up the UV maps. So I want to create a new UV map. So to do that, I'm going to click on this plus icon right here. That'll create a new UV map. And then to not get confused by the different UV maps, I'm going to double click on this one to rename it. And I'm going to rename this UV map bake because this is going to be the new UV map that we're going to bake to. And then this UV map right here, I can double click on this to rename it and I could just rename it. UV map wood because this is the UV mapping for the wood. Now right up here on the UV editor you can click right up here to preview the UV map wood or the UV map bake and you can see they actually are both the same and that's because when you create a new UV map it's going to duplicate the same data from the old UV map. So in the UV editor I want to select the UV map bake because this is the one that we want to re-UV unwrap. And then make sure you are in edit mode and I'm going to press the A key to select the entire mesh. Now I'm going to press the U button and that's going to bring up the UV map settings. And for an object like this, I'm just going to use the smart UV project. And then on the island margin here, just to give a little space between the islands, I'm going to change this to a 0 0.005 and then I can click on OK. And there we go. So it's UV unwrapped it and you can see now there isn't any overlapping islands and also the islands aren't going out of the boundary of the texture. So this will be great for texture texture baking. And if you'd like to learn the basics of UV unwrapping in Blender, then you can check out my UV unwrapping for beginners tutorial. The link is in the description. So in the shader editor, I need to add a new image to bake to. So I'm going to press shift A. Let's go to the search and I'm going to search for the image texture and let's just put that right up here. And then I can click on the new button to create a new image texture. And I can just call this like wood color because I'm going to bake the color map. And then on the width and height here, I want to use a 4K image texture. So I'm going to click and then drag down and then let go. And I'm going to use 4096 pixels by 4096 pixels. That is standard for a 4K texture. So I can now click on OK. And then because I am baking the color map, I want the color space here to be set to sRGB. Now right now, if we tried to bake this, it would use this UV map because this is the first UV map. It's the one on top. So I need to tell this texture to use the other UV map. So to do that, I can press shift A, I can go to the search, and I can search for the UV map node. And I want to plug the UV into the vector. And then if you click here on the drop down, I want to select the UV map bake, because that is the new UV map that we're baking to. And then right over here, this one here, this is just the texture coordinate with the UVs. And so on default, it's going to use the wood because that's the one that we're previewing. But if you want to confirm that it's going to use the correct one, you could take this UV map node and you could press shift 
D to duplicate it. And you can just bring it right over here. And then you can take the texture coordinate node and press X to delete it. And you could instead take the UV from this UV map node and put that into the mapping. Or if you're not using the mapping node, you would just take the UV and you would put that into the vector of all of the textures. And then of course, we don't want to use the UV map bake. We want to use the UV map wood. And so now these original textures are using the UV map wood, but then this texture right up here is using the UV map bake. And then also I do have a procedural noise texture, but the procedural noise texture is using the object coordinates. It's not using any UV mapping, so we can just ignore the noise texture. So now that this is all set up, we can just texture bake the image textures like we normally would. So first we need to go over some bake settings. So I'm going to click right here on the render properties and to do texture baking in Blender, you need to use the cycles rendering engine. Now, if you are using Blender EV, that's fine. You just need to switch to cycles, do the baking. And then once you're done doing the texture baking, you can switch it back to EV. Now you can also open up the sampling here and Blender actually uses the render samples to bake, but you actually don't really need any sample because adding more samples isn't going to make the bake nicer. So if you open up the render samples right here, I can just turn the render samples to one. And this way it'll bake really fast, but it won't affect the quality of the bake. So I can now just close the sampling tab and then we want to open up the baking tab right here. So then right here on the bake type, I want to change this and I'm going to change this to diffuse. And so this way it's going to bake any color which is going into the shader. And then also I want to turn off the direct and indirect because if these are turned on, it'll actually bake the lighting data into the color, but I just want to bake the actual color. So I just want to bake the data which is going into the base color here. So then before you hit the bake button, you need to make sure you have the correct object selected. And then what's also really important is to make sure you have the image texture selected that you want to bake to. And if it's selected, that way Blender knows that it's going to bake to it. And then I can click on the bake button and it shouldn't take very long. And it finished. So if I press the tab key to go into edit mode, you can see here's the UV mapping. And if I scroll right over here, you can see here's the UV map bake. You can see that is correct. So now I just need to save the baked image to a texture on my computer. So I'll press tab to go back to object mode, and then you can click here on image and you can click on save as. And I'm just gonna save this as woodcolor.png and I'll just click on save as. So then of course, if you have other maps like roughness maps and normal maps, you would wanna do that right now. So you'd wanna bake those other maps. I'm not going to bake the roughness map and the normal map in this video, but if you'd like to learn how to bake those other maps, then again, definitely check out my texture baking tutorial playlist. So now that the baking is finished, we can get rid of these other nodes and we can just plug up the new color map. So if you wanna make a copy of these, you could, you could like duplicate them or just put them in a separate material. I'm just going to click and drag to box select all these nodes and I can press X to delete them because I don't need them. And then I can bring the wood color down here and this is the one that we baked. So I can take the color and let's put that into the base color. Now when I do that, you can see something is messed up and that is because this object is still using the old UV map. So if I click right back here over here on the object data properties, you can see we have the UV map wood and then also the UV map bake. So to use the new UV map, you can just click on this button right here, the little camera icon, and that way it is going to actually preview the UV map bake. And then you could leave this old UV map here if you wanted to, but I'm actually gonna delete it. So I can click on the UV map wood. This was the original UV map, and I can click on the minus button to get rid of it. And then again, if you had any other image textures like roughness and normal, you would just duplicate the image texture and you would select the correct maps and plug them up correctly. So I could now use this material in a game engine or another 3D program or sketch fab because it's just using an image texture and it's not using any procedural nodes. And again, if you'd like to learn more about texture baking in Blender, then definitely check out my texture baking for beginners tutorial and my texture baking tutorial playlist here on YouTube. But I hope you found this helpful and thank you for watching.